Well, there you have it. Simon Rosenberg is president and founder of NDN, a think tank and advocacy organization. He's also a former campaign advisor to President Clinton. And Ben Ferguson is a radio talk show host. Gentlemen, welcome back to the program. And so now you heard, you heard the president there, and, and he said, no acts of terror will ever shake the resolve of this great nation. Acts of terror. Uh, and there is a question now. Ed Henry, our chief White House correspondent, saying that the White House is going to run with this, what the president ate the other night, to say that that reference we just heard was the president declaring Libya a terrorist attack. Is that what you heard, Ben? No, it's not. And it's not what the White House said. It's not what the president said in the days after. It's not what the own State Department put out in a video that they paid for to play around the world apologizing on behalf of a YouTube video. Even in that video where, they own, where our own State Department took the exact words from the President of the United States of America and words from Hillary Clinton. There was nothing in that video but an apology and nothing about terrorism at all. They said it was a video. They did not say this was an act of terror. He talked specifically about what happened last night in Benghazi. He did not say the acts of terror last night in Benghazi. He didn't come close to that word. So they can try to rewrite history. But there's also their own ambassador, Rice, who said this was because of a video and we, we spent $70,000 on an ad saying we're sorry for a video. That doesn't sound like an act of terror to me if you're apologizing for a video. Simon, the use of the phrase, no acts of terror will ever shake the resolve of this great nation, on the heels of an acknowledgement of 9-11 uh, and having gone to Arlington Cemetery, is not necessarily synonymous with the president declaring what happened in Benghazi a terrorist act. Do you, do you take it now as such? I first want to say that I don't work for the government and I don't have a security clearance and there's an awful lot going on here that we're all trying to make sense of here and so I want to say that on the outset. Let me read you what Barack Obama said the next day, Megan, uh, which he clarified this a little bit, which is he said, so I want all of you to know uh, that we are going to bring those who killed our fellow Americans to justice. I want people around the world to hear me. To those who will do us harm, no act of terror, not no acts, but no act of terror, will go unpunished. And I think that what is fair right now is what we know is this. In the, in the days afterwards of this terrible act, this tragic act, we knew immediately that uh, military means had been used. This was not like what happened in Cairo, where people climbed over the fence, right? And even the next day on September 12th, I went on your show, this show, and talked about the military strike that had taken place. What was confusing was whether or not, it, so there was no confusion about whether or not there was a military-like strike against our ambassador who killed him. That was clear from day one. What has been confusing is whether or not this was that the video caused these protests. And given that there were protests going on in dozens of other cities because of this video at the very same time, it is reasonable to assume that they thought that there was also a video right. involved in this, too. They've since clarified and said that was not the okay, case. Okay, but wait. wait, wait. Yeah. We're, we're going to carry yeah. you guys over because we're going to hit the yeah. break and we're going to carry you sure. over. But act of terror, declaring something an act of terror yeah. does not necessarily mean you are declaring it a terror attack. I mean, any act that's going to kill our ambassador in this fashion uh, could be described as an act of terror, but that's not necessarily the same as declaring it a terrorist but, attack, and it seems I, like, hold on, let me finish. it seems yeah. like the White House narrative is now going to be that the president was meaning to and did declare this a terrorist no. act, because that's what he seemed to tell that questioner after the fact, that, not, look, but, that's what we believe, but I didn't want to go that far on camera. Quickly, and then I'm going to go to back to Ben after the break. So quickly, Megan, is that I think the White House, it was 24 hours after a terrible act where the guys who knew what actually happened had died, and so they were still trying to figure it out. He left himself the running room in that, that in case it was okay. an actual terror attack. Hard break the coming second up. thing I just... No, no, hard I'll, break I'll in four seconds, so I'm coming back yeah. to you guys right I'll after come, this. After the commercial, we'll talk. Okay.